In this section, we're going to be covering how to use a declarative pipeline in order to build, check, test, and otherwise publish our Java jar file to a Maven repository. The declarative pipeline is the preferred mechanism for dealing with pipelines as code because it's capable of dealing with multiple branches. It also doesn't have you have to take the additional step of having to specify how to pull something from source code. The declarative pipeline is entirely source code driven and requires the pipeline to exist with inside your code base. The syntax is still groovy based, however, it is more stringent. In this case, you have to declare that it's a pipeline and then stages have their own section entirely. We have the same stages as we had before in terms of being able to build, publish, and then handle the post actions of getting our Jococo PMD and test results published as a part of the job page. The other main difference with the syntax is that when dealing with scripting, we have to sometimes put things inside of a script block. Additionally, stages are broken up into individual steps. So you can see within our build stage, we have steps, then we have our with Gradle closure that runs our clean build. Publish is the same way. We have a stage with steps using the same credential closure, using the same with Gradle closure, running the same basic commands along with the same credential binding. This is essentially the same as the scripted pipeline, but fully based on source control and able to deal with multiple branches. To set this up, go to the dashboard, new item, give it a name, and select a multi-branch pipeline. The only thing we have to do here is to specify the source code location, in our case, our Git repository, the SSH credentials, and we're done. This will automatically pick up any branch, and then for any branch it finds, it's going to run an independent job for it. It's important to note here that you have to have knowledge of what type of delivery or publishing strategy you're using. Right now we're making the assumption that we're only having one branch, our main branch, and that's the branch from which we're going to publish. If we were going to involve other branches or pull requests, for examples, we would put an if statement around publishing and say, for example, we're only going to publish off of the main branch. The default configuration is to look for the Jenkins file in the root of the project, so that's what we're going to do here. It's going to scan all the branches on the code repository. And then it's actually going to create a folder where there's going to be one pipeline for each branch. It's already running, but instead of clicking on the individual bar this time, we're going to use the blue ocean view. This is going to represent the build process as individual stages where you can see the output up top at the stage level and then the command line output at the bottom. But it's going to skip all of the trace output unless you click on it, but you'll see the overall commands that are being used. It's worked and the job shows as green. We can then look at the different outputs of this job. We have our tests, which are automatically shown here. We have pipeline logs as an artifact. Otherwise, we can go back to the job page where it looks just like our scripted pipeline and our freestyle job. We have code coverage reporting, PMD warnings, along with our testing output. We can also again verify the result of our publishing by looking at the packages on a repository. We can see that 1.1 was published.